just got home from getting my eyebrows started as you saw i went to the lash lounge in winter park and they came out really good i came back put some makeup on now i'm about to make some pumpkin pancakes yesterday i had the urge to clean out my closet again i don't know why so i'm gonna take this big bag to plato's closet and then donate whatever they don't take that's a donate pile and then i need to return something to urban that i got so i'm gonna do that today i don't know if i'm gonna do this today or tomorrow but we'll see i'm gonna make this today or this morning let me see the instructions Here is how they turned out. I haven't tasted them yet, but I will. And I'll let you know if they're good. I added chocolate chips. It's good. It's really good. at images i've been going here since i first got a car and my mom used to come here there's their regular pricing it's not that bad video because they do such a good job on the car such a good job you guys this is so embarrassing that my I drove on the highway with my mirror like this <laughs> from the car wash okay it's fixed <laughs> that was so scary on the highway if I wanted to merge to the right you can't see it's like having a blind spot when your mirror is flipped like that. That was so embarrassing though, everyone saw it. Everyone on my right side saw my mirror like that. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> bought a bunch of stuff at Zara. I didn't buy this. <laughs> this is my water bottle. But I bought a bunch of stuff at Zara and their fitting rooms aren't open so I'm gonna have to try them on at home and then return what I don't like. I was asking them when they think that the fitting rooms will reopen and they don't think that they ever will. So that's such a bummer. But I'll show you what I got from Urban. That is such a mess. Um, that's the rest of the clothes that they didn't take from Plato's closet that I dropped off. I'm gonna combine them with those and then donate them. But okay, so I just got one thing from Urban because I returned a shirt, so I figured, you know, you have room for a shirt. So I got this, it has like a deep back. I really love this neckline on shirts. I think it's super cute. It's really nice material, stretchy. That's what I got from Urban. I'm not gonna show you what I got from Zara, but maybe I'll maybe I'll show what I end up keeping. Um, I got these shorts from um, Abercrombie and Fitch. I tried them on in the fitting room. They were the shorts that I was trying on in the try on. They fit really good. They don't show your butt at all, which I like. That's what I got from the mall. Zara stuff. I'm probably gonna keep all the work pants from Zara. Let me put my face in it. I'm probably gonna keep all the work pants from that I got from Zara. I'm planning to film a work week of my life very soon because I haven't done one in a little while. I think it's been like three months since I did my last one. So I'm just like, I'm trying to do more of them. I just don't have any clothes to show you guys. It's what I wear to work is our basics 
and I don't wear heels like I don't like I just wear strictly flats um, I move furniture I I'm walking around I it's not like a regular desk job I'm not just sitting at my desk there's obviously computer work that I do do but I do a lot of walking around moving furniture putting together offices stuff like that as well and I like to be comfortable that's why I wear a lot of basics to work because basics are comfortable I can move my body in them and same with the pants but I'll definitely show the pants that I got all that stuff but stay tuned work week in my life coming soon I haven't filmed one in the new apartment yet so stay tuned for that but speaking of the work topic I'm gonna make another coffee because I am going to dinner with Taylor and Maya we're going to Kabuki we're going to the one that's by um, Dr. Phillips. There's one on Colonial by like the Fashion Square Mall, the old mall. They didn't have any reservations at 7.30. So we're going there at 7.30. It's 4 o'clock now. Um, I need to go to the grocery store and get some stuff for tomorrow. I'm filming a what I eat in a day tomorrow weekend edition and I just need to get some stuff for tomorrow. So I think this vlog will be up before the what I eat in a day. So stay tuned if those interest you. I've not, I haven't done a what I eat in a day, like regular day style and not work day style in over a year, probably a year and a half. But I do have two what I eat in a work day videos. If you're interested in that, I meal prep for work, stuff like that. So check those out. But I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day weekend edition. I think I'm gonna do like a full weekend edition one time, but this week, I'm just going to do what I eat a, a day on the weekend. <laughs> but um, I'm going to make a coffee. I, this fall recipe coffee that I am absolutely obsessed with. So all you do. So what you do is you fill up. Regular ice that gets everywhere. Um, this is the best fall recipe coffee and all you need is you kind of don't even need this i just don't like to put too much of the nut pods creamer i don't want it to be too sweet it does say no sugar in it but that doesn't mean that it's not sweet like it's sweet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do like a single shot of espresso i'm gonna do altiso probably pour the rest of this And then I love the cinnamon swirl nut pods. I think it's my favorite nut pods flavor. I need to go get more. I'm gonna get more tomorrow. Cause they only sell it at Whole Foods. They don't sell it at my Publix. They only sell the basic flavors at Publix. And then I just got this pumpkin pie spice. I don't know if it's any different than pumpkin spice, but all I could find is the pumpkin pie spice. So I think it's, it tastes really good. I looked at the ingredients and there's nothing. It's just cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, ginger, cloves. I'm just gonna, before I mix it around, just put a bunch in there. And I kid you not, it's better than Starbucks. It's just the most amazing fall coffee. So you guys have to try it. I just like thought one day, I was like, I wanna make a pumpkin coffee flavor, but I don't wanna go and get pumpkin puree or any of that stuff. How can I make a fall coffee without having to do all that and still make it taste and satisfy my Starbucks cravings? This is it. This is the answer. Is that better? Thank you crooked my I don't think my tripod's doing too well but okay so I, I have some big news that is work related that I obviously wanted to share with you guys um I don't know why I didn't share in the beginning but I got a job promotion so I am now a client services manager if you watch my Q&A that I posted a few months ago on my YouTube channel then you know that one of my career related goals was to move into management with my current company 
I've been with my company for two and a half years. And this was one of my goals that I wanted with the company. I wanted to grow with the company, I still do. And I'm just really, really, really excited about this opportunity for me. I'm very grateful that the company, my manager, believes in me enough to promote me to this position. So I finally got the promotion. I'm really excited. Um, it's a lot more work, a lot more stuff falls on my shoulders. I feel like I've been slowly working towards this all year. My manager has slowly given me more responsibility throughout the whole entire year to help me get to where I am. So I'm very grateful for her. I'm so excited for this opportunity with my company to grow and see what this leads to. So I just wanted to share that with you guys that I did get a job promotion. I, this is like a video diary for me. YouTube is like my video diary. So that's why I love creating these videos because I can look back on them and see my life again. I get to relive it basically. So I definitely wanted to keep this as part of my video diary because it is a big moment in my life and it's um, a big jump and it's like a career move and I just feel like things are finally unfolding and I'm finally just, I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. So I'm really excited for this opportunity. I'm obviously going to do uh, another work week of my life with you guys in a new position and um i still sit in the same spot i've been sitting in that spot for a year and a half um but i still am in the same spot if you've seen my other work week in my life still in the same spot so nothing there has changed the atmosphere is still the same i'm still in a box with a little window and a door but um yeah so i'm just really excited and i wanted to share that with you guys because obviously that is a big change in my life and yeah so that's a little life work update but i'm gonna make a grocery list because i'm gonna go to the grocery store and yeah oh another update oh my gosh this is so funny okay so um another update i know that my wallet is not coming back to me someone has it and someone has actually tried to use one of my old credit cards that i shut off because I got a notification saying that someone tried to use it at a gas station at 4.30 in the morning and the card declined because obviously the card has been canceled. So my hopes of getting my wallet returned to me is no more because it's in the hands of someone that doesn't plan to get it, give it back obviously because they tried to use it. So I already got all new credit cards, I already got a new ID, I already got like a new Costco card, all that stuff. So. If I were to go use someone else's card that I found on the side of the road, I would feel so guilty. Like, does that not eat people up inside? I don't know, it's like stealing. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make a list and go to the grocery store. I just tried everything on from Zara and I wasn't supposed to like everything but Zara just kills it so I'll show you what I got and I'm not gonna try it on I'll wear these in an upcoming work week of my life video and I'll also link everything down below okay first thing are these pants I have these pants in I think five colors I think this will be my fifth color but they're the best work pants ever they hug you at the waist. They're very high-waisted. If you're short, like 5'2", five 5'3", five they'll hit you at your ankle. But if you're any taller, I think they'll hit you a little bit above your ankle. But they're so good. I also got these. These are a different style pants. I thought they were going to be low-rise, but they're not, which I'm very excited about. They're high-rise. And they have this band in the back, which is nice. And they're so good. 
So I got those in this plaid and I also got them in a white color. I saw this when I was about to leave and it's just a ribbed mock neck tank top. That would be nice to wear under sweaters, a blazer, whatever. This is not work-wise, but I saw this and I, I'm obsessed with this color right now. I don't know why. It's so good. Figured this would be good for like a beach cover-up, even just running around with biker shorts on, stuff like that. I got it in an extra large and it goes past my butt. I got this little blouse. I don't have a lot of stuff like this at all, I'm not going to lie, because for one, it's thin and my office is really cold so I don't like to wear stuff like this so it's hard for me to find pieces like this that I actually want to wear but I kind of liked the pattern on this it's really different I'm trying to just venture out with my work clothes get a little bit more creative than just like a plain tee like a plain basic long sleeve so here's me venturing out I have this sweater I kid you not in white tan and black it's just such a good basic it has this little detail on the sleeve there they always have this in stock i know that for a fact and it's just something really easy to tuck into a pair of like high-waisted pants and you instantly look put together that's what i love about basics it's just you can't really mess them up so that's why i wear so much of them so this is me venturing out of my comfort zone instead of just going for a basic like white sweater or like a basic long sleeve. I wanted to kind of step it up and I thought this was a cute idea. It's super cute on collar, little buttons. It's fitted, it looks good tucked into pants. So that's what I got from Zara. Stay tuned for a work week of my life. I'll be wearing these clothes. I almost forgot. This, I got this purse too. I thought this was so cute. I love the chunky chain. It's a shorter chain. And um, this is what it looks like on the inside. I'll link everything down below. I'll link this bag and all the clothes that I got just in case you want to check them out. Okay, I want to apologize in advance for all the stuff that's in the background. I'm cooking tomorrow. I'm filming a what I eat in a day like I mentioned earlier. So that's what all the stuff is behind me. But I wanted to show you my outfit. I'm going to dinner with Taylor and Maya. I think I mentioned it. We're going to Kabuki, which is a sushi place. I'll bring you guys along for the night. But I wanted to show you what I was wearing because I'm wearing, I guess, two of the new things that I got today. And one is this tank top. I love the neckline of this. You can see the scrunching on the side. I feel like you could use that to your advantage when wearing this top you could kind of scrunch it up or lengthen it out to tuck it into your pants but it has a low back so i'm wearing it with a sticky bra and then i'm wearing my abercrombie and fitch jeans these are the 90s high rise jeans i'll link them if i can find them um and then these are just really old ankle booties they look like this they're from bloomingdale's they're the splendid brand i'm wearing my favorite amazon gold hoops these are hollow so they're not heavy at all i love them they're my favorite and they hold up so well and don't tarnish i've had them for probably two years and they don't hurt which is what i like because i hate the heavy heavy earring on my ear just by a few hours in you almost have to take it off but not with these. Then I'm carrying my new bag with the outfit. I don't know if there's too many different colors going on, but this is the little fit for dinner. Taylor, you wanna be in the vlog clip? Okay, off to dinner. <laughs> Wonderful, long-lasting friendship we're gonna have forever. It is the next day. I wanted to end off 
this video I didn't end it off last night but I've been filming a what I eat in a day today which is why I didn't carry the vlog into today but I have a story before I end off the vlog I was looking through my photos over the past few weeks and the photos that I was looking at led up into the last few photos of California so I was looking at the photo in California I was looking at the last photo that I took at Cha Cha Matcha before I left so Jenna and I went to Cha Cha Matcha on the last day of the trip and we were we went inside sat out on the porch area after we got our matcha and then we went back inside I got a sweatshirt and then we went out front and there's a little front seating area and we were sitting there for a second and then we called the uber and then we started walking out towards the street to get in the uber and i took this photo right before i left of the front of chacha matcha so this photo wasn't taken when i was walking in it was when i was leaving so it was the last photo i took at chacha matcha and i was just zooming in looking at the photo and you can see in the photo the front patio seating area and if you zoom in on the photo <laughs> on the bench you see something on the bench that looks a little checkered maybe looks a little something like this that is my wallet on the bench at Cha Cha Matcha where I left it so the wallet chronicles are done it's never it's never being returned but I just thought it was funny that I was like zooming in on this picture I was like looking at the I love you so much a sign and then I was looking at the whatever and then I like looked at the bench and I was like wait a second what is that raised item on the bench that's my wallet so there you have it that's where I left it and I remember sitting there and I remember pulling it my phone out of my purse and it probably fell out onto the couch and I didn't look back to check and see if I had it or everything and just kept walking so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys because I just couldn't help but laugh at myself and what are the odds that I decided to look at that photo today and zoom in and see something? I don't know. So anyways, I wanted to end off this video here. I am actually filming a work week in my life tomorrow. So I am I decided to film it this week. So I have a what I eat in a day coming and then also a work week in my life coming up. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.